What's up, y'all? Happy Monday. Hope everybody's doing well, man. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like I mentioned on my Instagram, if you saw that, we are going to be doing a new Aubrey King Tips and Tricks Day today. And today we are going to be diving into that 1970 Fillmore East performance. And um, we're going to be kind of breaking down that part right where he's hitting hard with the solo and uh, the band gives him some breaks to solo over. Um, I want to go over both breaks. I want to go over what the licks that Albert King chose, um, the approach on the guitar, and how you can hit him in the Albert King position, and how you can hit him in the uh, Steve Ray Vaughan position, alright? Let's do this! Blues and baby! We're going to be Albert King in all day, alright? You guys, I'm so excited. Without further ado, let's get into it, alright? Alright, so hopefully by now you've seen the video that I'm talking about. This is what we're going to be diving into. Him and the band were in the key of A flat, right? Playing that stuff. And, uh, you know, he's doing all that good stuff, you know. Um, but what I want to do is I want to quickly, with a backing track, show you um, exactly what he was hitting or, or something close to it. The backing track is going to be in the key of G, and I will provide that to you with this video. It'll be an attachment. You can download it and practice these Albert King licks with the backing track, okay? Um, so, like I said, he's going to be in A flat for these licks, but we want to be in the key of G just because I've been doing all of the Albert King tips and tricks in G, and uh, I just want to give you some perspective in the key of G. It'll help you maneuver the other keys and stuff like that, all right? So we're going to be in the key of G doing these licks. Got it? I mean, okay, so like I said, we're going to be in the key of G. Um, Albert King and his band are doing it in A-flat. <clears throat> That's cool. Um, but I wanted to show for the kind of every guitar player, right, just the basics. So we're going to do in the key of G. Um, and I want to show you kind of the approach to each of those little stop licks and um, how you can do them in the style of Albert King and how you can kind of do them in the style of Steve Ray Vaughan too as well in that Steve Ray Vaughan box. So let's get to it, right? <clears throat> so that first lick that he's doing, and I hope you don't mind, the camera's going to be a little bit out of my face, but uh, hey, we don't care about the face, right? We just want to see the licks, dude, where the fingers are at, dude. Alright, anyways. I don't know what that was. I feel good about it, though. Um, okay, so, like I said, we're in the key of G, right? So, I want to show you guys those licks, break them down, each one, <clears throat> and how you can do them in the Albert King box and in the <laughs> Steve Ray Vaughan box, right? So, that first lick, super cool, super unique, a little interesting. <laughs> Right? Super simple, pretty basic. On the count, it's one, two, three, four. Right? All right, so what that basically is, is we're on the root note, right? Right there, and we're, play we're bending all the, we're doing the B string bending, right? On the one string. Remember from the Albert King Tips and Tricks one? That's what we're doing. We're taking the root note. We're gonna take our ring finger and go one, two, three, steps up. We have that Albert King tone, right? So that first bend that he's doing, he's doing all the way up. And then he kind of lands in the middle and then back to the root, right? So, two, three, four. Pretty simple, pretty basic Albert King thing that he does all the time, right? Is that kind of full step bend all the way up and then he bends that halfway, right? So, from here.
back to the root note. If you're trying to do that in Steve Ray Vaughan box, we're gonna go on the high E string. So that kind of, you're going full up on the high E, you're kind of taking your finger off, letting that middle finger do the bending for some kind of um, flat bending sound, it's really cool. Right? And you can start to articulate in your ear like why or how the difference is between Steve Ray Vaughan and Albert King, right? Is a lot of that bending, I'm not 100% sure if Albert King was always doing licks on the B string, but you could just tell that iconic Steve Ray Vaughan sting because he uses that high E so much, right? As opposed to what we're doing, we're doing on the Albert King on the B string, right? And eventually, you know, you'll understand that you gotta, you wanna hit those 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 bends perfect but at the same time a little bit of that imperfection not bending it all the way up to that note kind of creates that tension kind of creates that albert king sort of imperfection vibe so don't be afraid to you know experiment with the bending on the b string if you don't hit it perfect every time that's okay because it doesn't matter we're not trying to be perfect right so like i said that first bend okay so the first stop comes around two three four two three Bum, bum, bum. Right? Super fun, super cool. Again, on the Stevie box. All right, so that's the first one, right? Now the next one is cool because uh, it's just got all bending. We're still bending the whole time, right? Bend that up all the time, right? So that one is two, three, four. So we're gonna hit that root note twice. And then hit that one. A little half bend. It's like almost at the act of, it's a gotta, you're getting in the idea of that, right? So two, three, four. Bap, 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 right? I don't think it that you're not going all the way back down, you're going So it's not all the way down. So yeah, that's gonna be that second lick, right? And then if we're trying to do it in Stevie Box. You're gonna do So that one's gonna be a little bit harder because you do have to take your finger off to only let that index finger shine, right? Instead of this one, we're just bending the whole time. We're never taking our fingers off. And that one's fun because you can let that bend down and it gives that upper king kind of bending. Oops. Alright, so that's the second one in that first. And then of course the third one, right, is just a good old bend, right? I love those when Albert just lets it bend all the way until you can barely even hear it, right? So so that third one, we're just gonna be bending um, the B string up all the way, right? All the way to that second full step or whatever. So from here we go two, three, four. And that's all that that one is. That's the last break until the, the band starts coming in, right? So even in the Stevie box, right? That's. Right? So again, two, three, four. And that is where, from there, we just kind of do some licks that kind of just get us to that four chord, right? So. That's the first break, okay? Again, feel free to, to access this video on a laptop or desktop. We can, you can slow down um, some of those licks and things like that. But let's just do acapella vibes, the sequence again, okay? So again, here we go. So it'll be two, three, four. Dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Right? 
so that's the sequence, you guys. All right, so we're in part part two, the second little breakdown of the solo where he gets a whole new set of pauses, right? And a lot of the things that he's doing is actually, they're gonna be a lot similar to the first pause, right? So um, let's get right into it, okay? So that first lick is gonna be bum, bum, bum. That's the first one, love it. We got a lot of bending up and down, okay? So again, we're gonna hit that first one at the second, this is the second set of breaks, okay? Two, three, four. Right? Easy. Here's the G, here's the root on the B, right? So we're up here. And I'm plucking those the whole time with my finger. Almost all of them. And that last one, you don't have to pluck, but he does pluck it. So he goes. But you can go. Or you can pluck it. So that's the first one, right? And if we're going for the Stevie box. Oh, uh, sorry. Stevie box is. So you do have to take your finger off. It's a little bit more difficult in my opinion. You got to go. And to do that all flawlessly without noticing that you're taking your finger off is the difficult part. So I like to do it, like I said, Albert King vibes up here on the B string. Here's the uh, root. We're right here. Right? That's just iconic. That's just... Sounds like Albert King, those, those bends, right? It's almost like squealing in a sense, you know? I don't know. All right, so that's the first one. The next one is another iconic Albert King type line. Um, again, so that second one is gonna be two, three, four. So that second one, cut that out is gonna be so here's that second one so that one in terms of syncopation Stevie box Right, that one's pretty basic, right? I mean, I that one should be no no brainer, right? It's the it's the basic, just. So so again, that one, the second one is gonna be. Right, all right, and then my favorite one, the last one. Now this one is interesting because this really shows the musicianship. Excuse me, musicianship of Albert King, right? So you can tell that he kind of, he really wants to hit that note hard and hard and just with a lot of emotion and he kind of either hits it too hard or kind of hits a dead note on that last one. So he improvises real quick and ends up doing this awesome. Right? And that's the last one of the last break and then we're going full, full bore into the solo, right? So that one, Really simple, but there's some stuff that I want to make, make sure that we break down here. So again, just in terms of syncopation, excuse me, he's just bending it over and over and over. Two, three, four. Right, again, two, three, four. And the thing that I want you to focus on on that is that when we're bending that, right? It's almost like you're 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 mute you're you're getting you're getting it all the way to the top and then bending it down almost. Meow, meow. <laughs> I know that kind of sounds funny, but it's like meow. <laughs> right? So it's almost like a down sound. So it's not you're not hearing the up bend. It's just the, it's it's almost like, so you gotta get it up there, bend it up there, almost silently, and then pluck it, and then go down. Right? And then of 
course in the Stevie box, right? We're just on the high E. And then you can throw some, you know, some index finger, uh, take the take the ring finger off, do some stuff like that. Right? And so that is the uh, complete sequence of the pauses uh, that the band takes and what Albert King chooses to do over each of those, right? So um, I'm going to go ahead and play the video of me doing it over the backing track again right here, just in case for reference, okay? So this is going to be it, part one and part two. These are the Albert King tips and tricks for the week. Um, I seriously, seriously hope you enjoyed them. Um, I had a great time doing them for you. And um, like I said, please feel free to send me uh, any videos of you guys trying this out. Um, if you're getting into any roadblocks, if you're getting into any questions, comments, or concerns kind of vibes, shoot, just shoot me a, shoot me a DM uh, on Instagram. Uh, or you can hit me up directly on Patreon. Uh, that's what the Patreon's for, right? We want to do some exclusive private community kind of stuff. So. This is for you guys, right? This is uh, this is not available to everybody. So if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, uh, it's a lot easier for me to to, to respond back um, because this is a more private, more intimate community here. So again, um, I really hope you enjoyed the third installment of Albert King uh, Tips and Tricks. Um, this one was super fun. We went into the 1970 Fillmore East uh, performance and just broke down some of those licks that he did during those pauses, right? Just because. The Albert King pauses are so iconic. I just wanted to, and that video is so iconic. I see it on Instagram all the time. And I just wanted to quickly just show, it's not that hard. It's really simple stuff. And if you really work on your bends and your tones like that, you're gonna nail it every time, all right? You guys, thank you guys so much again. This has been another segment of Albert King Tips and Tricks. Love you all, appreciate y'all, and I'm out. Peace.